Sanctification is a Bible doctrine, March 18. Sanctify them by your truth. Your word is truth. Erroneous theories of sanctification, also, springing from neglect or rejection of the divine law, have a prominent place in the religious movements of the day. These theories are both false in doctrine and dangerous in practical results, and the fact that they are so generally finding favor, renders it doubly essential that all have a clear understanding of what the scriptures teach upon this point. True sanctification is a Bible doctrine. The Apostle Paul, in his letter to the Thessalonian church, declares, This is the will of God, even your sanctification. And he prays, The very God of peace sanctify you wholly. The Bible clearly teaches what sanctification is and how it is to be attained. The Savior prayed for his disciples, Sanctify them through thy truth, thy word is truth and Paul teaches that believers are to be sanctified by the Holy Ghost, what is the work of the Holy Spirit? Jesus told his disciples, when he, the Spirit of truth, is come, he will guide you into all truth, and the psalmist says, thy law is the truth. By the word and the Spirit of God are open to us the great principles of righteousness embodied in his law. And since the law of God is holy, and just, and good, a transcript of the divine perfection, it follows that a character formed by obedience to that law will be holy. Christ is a perfect example of such a character. He says, I have kept my Father's commandments. I do always those things that please him. The followers of Christ are to become like him, by the grace of God to form characters in harmony with the principles of his holy law. This is Bible sanctification. This work can be accomplished only through faith in Christ, by the power of the indwelling Spirit of God. Paul admonishes believers, Work out your own salvation with fear and trembling. For it is God which worketh in you both to will and to do of his good pleasure. Christians will feel the promptings of sin, but they will maintain a constant warfare against it. Here is where Christ's help is needed. Human weakness becomes united to divine strength and faith exclaims, Thanks be to God, which giveth us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ.